So I'm doing a June favorites video today and it's not a long video at all but I just wanted to do a quick June favorites and also announce my giveaway winner. I apologize, totally apologize for how long it took to get this video up. Um, it's just honestly, just everything happened this week. I had red eyes and I didn't want to film anything and then I went to the Beyonce concert and I was recovering and then everything was just it was just too much. So now that I have time, let's get into it. The first thing I wanted to feature was my skincare products. If you could tell from my um, previous videos to now, I've been breaking out really bad. I've had really bad skin. I have absolutely no idea why. Maybe it's the weather change but it's not something that's happened to me over the past few years so um, I'm gonna figure out and pinpoint what is the problem and I'll actually maybe even do a video of how I handle it and how I yeah how I dealt with my current acne issues at 23 years old like how annoying <laughs> anyways um, so what I've been using lately are Neutrogena products I used to use these in high school and honestly you know in high school when you kind of uh, jump around from product to product even now but more then because you're trying out what people like or what people don't like and whatever um, so I did used to use Neutrogena and then I started using Claris, Claris, Clear Skin, Clear Cell I used everything. Um, anyways, so I've been using this oil-free acne wash. I love this stuff, but the thing is, if it gets in your nose, it's really strong. Like, try to avoid any sort of breathing while you're using this skin product. It's super annoying. Like, I, I don't know why. Maybe it's the grapefruit scent and it's so strong, but um, it actually really just gets all up in your nose. Apply this after I use, oh wow, it's actually almost done. That's how much I've been using those products. Um, deep clean, daily scrub, long lasting shine control. So I also have a shine problem, which you can also tell. My T-zone is always very oily. And um, so I try to use a lot of products that'll help with that. I also try not use too much because I don't want to over, like to kill my skin or overdo it. Um, but I'll use this, I wash uh, my skin forehead first and I'll do that for about 20 seconds then do my cheeks 10 seconds under my eye 10 seconds and this area 10 seconds and I'll do one Mississippi two Mississippi just to make sure I'm really cleaning and I've gotten like all my makeup and nastiness out. I do want to get the Mia too uh, but I'll get into that I'll do a review on that later about if it really helps get rid of this annoying acne problem because before I had clear beat Skin. like I didn't have these issues and before I do any washing I always use my uh, also oil-free cleansing wipes the Neutrogena ones the grapefruit these work really well for makeup wipes I've used every type of makeup wipe including baby wipes including high-end makeup wipes and I just feel like for the price and it was also on sale for like five bucks but for the price of this it just was so much more worth it um, and it does a trick and it's also grapefruit scented but it does not get in your nose so that is a plus um, so I use that before I do my scrub and then I do the wash and um, any shine control throughout the day that I think I may need I will use the blotting sheets and I've used also I believe it's Clearasil blotting sheets that's how I actually got into it no clean and clear Anyways, one of them, one of the C's, and um, I had a sample from that years ago. And so did. used to using my hands to blot out, but it's actually so bad to do that because of all the dirt and bacteria you accumulate throughout the day. You do not want to be touching your face, period. So I will use an antiseptic, like um, a gel, whatever, to clean my hands, and then I'll apply just this. And it's so simple, like literally. It has a little sticky thing in here so it sticks to the sheet so you're not like struggling. I'll take out one and then I always just blot my T-zone area. So I'll go here and on my forehead and it's just so easy and then you just throw it out. And I believe each one comes with 50 sheets. I mean I don't remember how much it was. It might have been like the usual Neutrogena prices of like 8 bucks. Um, but they work really well. I think it works way better than using a Kleenex or tissue because then you leave all that Kleenex and tissue residue all over you and that's just not It's not a cute thing at all Especially when your face is nice and beat and you're like ready to go out and you dab on your tissue And all you have is just residue like it's just really gross. But anyways next thing I have to feature 
um you guys have heard this so much not just from me but from probably other beauty gurus and other people in general but flat out fabulous was my fave in june and i don't care i'm gonna feature it in this video it is so gorgeous and i'll wear it with um a lip liner and if you watched my um lip product addict tag lip product addict tag you would know that i love lip liners so this is magenta and i'll apply this apply it with magenta and it just keeps it from you know when you apply a lipstick and you're around your ends of your lips it just starts to like thin out but like your main lip part will still have product on i don't like that so i'll always have a lip liner and then i'll put that my lipstick on as well and flat flat this is just so pretty it was just such a june favorite i wore it so much from when i had bought it and now that I know it comes back, I'm not like crazy, but I have to go buy like three at once, you know? But it is a definite favorite and it's starting to, it's starting to get down a little, but that's okay. It's okay, that's what happens when you love things. Um, the next thing that I have to feature is not something that I recently bought. It's actually something that I've had for the last maybe year, I bought a while ago. I just don't know what to do with them. So I, just left them there so stupid and then i realized there's adhesives and stuff but anyways um the coastal scents these glitters and what i loved about them is they're only like two dollars and it's not that big of a deal to be honest with you um i mean you could probably get better glitters but these ones are actually pretty cute they're all pretty shimmery colors i don't know if you can see they're also pretty and i think i paid if I paid like two dollars each, it was under twenty bucks, and I got about I have six colors. So there's this purple. There's a nice, pretty teal-looking color. I have a darker pink and a bright pink, <laughs> and a yellow and a turquoise, I guess. And they're really, really, they're really gorgeous. They go on really well. Um, once you learn to play with glitters and to use glitters and not to get a everywhere you realize how fun they are and just how they add to your eye look like you can have a simple plain eye look and they just look absolutely gorgeous so those have been a definite favorite of mine in june if you saw my, my one of my past videos i didn't even put a lot i didn't put any adhesive or anything i just wanted it to just a slight shimmer if you like move you know i didn't want it to be too overwhelming or anything and it still looked gorgeous so i would definitely recommend um these coastal sense ones I will try out different glitters and let you guys know. I'm just, I love colors and the sparkle and blang blang as my mom loves to say on her little African accent, but um, those are definite fake. Another product that I wanted to feature was um, a primer and it's something that I, I feel like it's one of those things that if you want something and you put it out there, just declare it and at the right time it'll come in your life. I've always wanted a primer and I never really needed it before. Like. You need a primer, I think it's necessary just so that you don't cake on too much in your skin and cause a lot of problems. But before, because I didn't have acne issues like I used to when I was in high school, I just was like, oh, I want a primer just to try it out for the sake of it. But now that my skin is just acting like a psycho, I actually got a primer in a Sephora ca uh, kit, one of those um, uh, 100 point things, and it was the Too Faced Primed and poreless pure and guys honestly this stuff works for it it's a, like when you apply it it's kind of annoying to put on your makeup once you've applied it because it actually protects your skin that much that it's like another layer and in the heat I don't really notice it that's a good thing it's a light primer and it works because it doesn't I don't have my makeup directly on my skin anymore like obviously it's blended in there somewhat but it's not as much in my pores so this stuff is beautiful, it's oil free, and I don't need any oil added to my skin. I have dry skin in the morning and I end up with a whole bunch of oil throughout the day just naturally. I have a lot of natural oils in my face, so I don't need that. So this stuff has worked wonders and it's absolutely amazing and it's just a little sample size and I still have it. And I must have gotten it in May, the end of May. And then I had it, yeah, so then I got it in June and I've been just using it all of June. I was testing it out. I wanted to see what it was like and I'm so happy that I got this. Sephora knows how to get you, right? With their little, little, little um, add-ons with your products. Definitely so happy about this. 
and I would probably try other primers too but I feel like I've found the one that I love I just definitely don't feel like I need to go get anything else and as well another product that I was so happy to find and I feel like it's one of those things as well you just put it out in the universe and eventually it'll eventually eventually it'll just come and things will work out but anyways I wanted to feature a concealer it's not necessarily actually is it it's a foundation stick but I use it to contour if you guys know I didn't a lot of my videos I wasn't contouring I was just kind of applying my foundation and going and that doesn't work especially with my skin where I have so many different skin tones in one face so I got the Bobbi Brown skin foundation stick in espresso tent and if you saw my previous videos before I ran out of richly honed um, the MAC sculpting cream the pro sculpting cream or whatever it's called um, it was a lot more harsh but it did a more dramatic contour this one does a lot more of a warm one I don't know if you can see it in this video um, but it, it just blends so well with my skin that you can, it's so seamless that you barely can tell that it's a contour so I love this for an everyday soft contour for sure and it's been working wonders it comes quite a bit I mean I've been using it and I don't use that much I'll just apply um, three strokes like one here and one here and one there and then on my cheeks like when I go kind of thing <laughs> and then just on the bridge of my nose and that's about it so I don't use a lot of the product so I know even though it was $50 and um, it'll last a while so it is worth it um, I'll definitely be looking and featuring a more like dramatic contour product or product to contour uh, but this one is absolutely like I've just been loving this so far um I mean on your everyday do you want that much of a dramatic one if that's you more power to you but everyday look I don't want it to be so overwhelming you know I want it to just be like a touch of blush a touch of like um, dimension and that's it literally a touch the last favorite I wanted to feature in this video is just so random it's not a product but it is a show I have been obsessed Obsessing and obsessing meaning like I spent the whole week doing absolutely nothing but eat sleep Went to work came back rushed back and watched the show the show's origins the new black and honestly I have no idea like it's been out maybe what two years I am like the last person to hop on bandwagons like unless I feel like it's necessary or you really convince me then I'm like okay like let me try this out um but yeah so people have been telling me forever like my sister my cousins they're all like you should watch it and I was just there like honestly I watched three episodes and I liked it but then I think I was just busy I was doing other things like I had things to do with my life and the thing about me is if I watch something that has an abundance of episodes already out I will not do anything else and I think I knew that so I, I was just like I'm not ready I can't do it and then I had an opportunity to sit down for a day to watch stuff. So I'm like, okay, let me try this out. The day turned into two, two turned into three, and I was just ended up like, I just did nothing. Nothing all week until I caught up. And now that I'm caught up, I'm so sad because I didn't realize it was like HBO and the other stupid channel that has Mad Men that has shows every year. Like it drops once a year and I'm just so annoyed. Like what am I supposed to do now? So yeah obsessing I've heard also that um what else is good house of cards I really want to watch that if any of you guys have seen house of cards let me know leave a comment below and tell me if it's good because I don't want to watch it just yet my sisters convinced me about that and my cousin now so far and those two are like the worst they just no good shows like in the back of their head and the last thing that I wanted to let you guys know is the winner of my giveaway and I just want to make sure that I have the name right what I did because you guys had so many comments and so many good ones and I didn't expect like such good feedback from so many people um so I did it through a random generator so don't be upset if you don't win it was really not because I was like I didn't like your comment or I didn't like this or that I just did it through a random generator because you all did had such good things like some of you were men mentioning how be your first lipstick or you would give it to a family member and I thought that was just so heartfelt and I'm like I can't choose I can't decide so I just randomly got an online picker and it picked for me so the winner of my lipstick product tag is 
Kawana Smith. So I will con or actually contact me, inbox me in the YouTube inboxes and give you your information and I'll be happy to send that out to you. Thank you guys so much for participating and thank you for being so supportive and watching my videos and just being so interactive as well. I just love that part about it. I love helping people and I love getting feedback as well because that's just what we're here for, right? So thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye loves.